I'm Justin Lucas Savage at CoachRadio.tv. I'm going to show you how I send almost every video that I record out to a number of different video websites. The reason for that being, depending on what that specific website is, depending on how it picks it up, there's a lot that's a lot of stuff that's based on uh, different search engine optimization type things within each individual Vimeo, YouTube, Vidler, Blip.tv, Metacafe. Doesn't matter where you're sending it. If you're going to record a video and send it out to a website, I think it needs to be in multiple websites. So what OneLoad.com does is it allows you to freely uh, post that video, or rather upload that video to OneLoad.com and it links your account credentials to all of your other websites and it sends it out to those simultaneously. So for the same amount of work, it would take you to upload your video to just YouTube.com for instance, It'll upload and do all of that, and with one additional click of a button, it'll send it out to all of the other sites that you've got uh, set up. So I'm gonna log in here, and I land on a dashboard. Now I'm an ambassador for OneLoad, and I happen to have a number of premium features that are enabled here, but for most people, unless you get to become a, a larger business and you're doing a lot with video, the free account is where you need to be. And so I'm going to point out a lot of the free features and things that I'm using. You can see some of my recent uploads, and then it gives you a really nice dashboard here and shows you um, where each of these places, this big one here is YouTube. You can see that's the powerhouse uh, where people are searching, where they're finding uh, the second one here is Vimeo. Now for Vimeo, I have to be a plus member in order to uh, get your account credentials and pass them along to OneLoad. Uh, but for most of them, you do not. So it does a lot of things over on the left-hand side. You can click on uh, My Videos and you'll get a page here where you can go in, you can launch and see your stats, you can edit from here, you can do all of that. We've got Channel Reports which again, uh, gives you a little bit more detail on each of the individual websites. In fact, you can see YouTube here, uh, 124,000 views of my videos. Those are just through the ones that I've uploaded here through OneLoad. But again, I've been using this for a number of years. You've got some video reports and a lot of really interesting things that you can see as you get uh, a little bit more involved with this. But I'm gonna show you how to upload a video. Now, if you have a large video, greater than 100 megabytes, you're gonna to have to use the big file uploader. Um, the one that I am gonna upload here is just 64 megabytes. So what I'm gonna do is upload this uh, video that I'm uploading, or uh, choose this video that I'm uploading for uh, a gear review that I did for an Eddie Bauer watch. Now, it's gonna start going and it'll show you again here about five minutes for this to uh, complete. Now, while that's going, what I'm gonna do is go through here and give it a title, a description. Private notes, this is a uh, feature that you'll get with a premium one load uh, subscription. Again, many people do not need that, um, but uh, you can put in private notes and those don't show up on the video. I'm gonna give it tags and then I'm gonna select a category. And the category that I'm gonna choose here for mine is uh, vlogs and people. Um, you can see how these categories map depending on, you know, what sites you're sending it to, whether it's, you know, how vlogs and people shows up in YouTube for categories, how it shows up in Vimeo. I don't tend to get into that. Um, the two that I tend to use are either instructional, how-to, DIY. Uh, I do that a lot, especially for coachradio.tv videos. And then vlogs and people is one that I happen to use a lot at backcountrytrex.com for gear reviews. Now you'll notice that there's no button on here. You'll see the button will show up right down in this section once this video is complete. So what I'm gonna do is go through here and give this a title, a description, and then tags. And as that uploads, we'll see that the, the, uh, the button shows up right down here and then I'll show you what the next screen looks like. So what you'll notice here is that um, as I do the description, I've got these uh, notes here that say you've exceeded the maximum description length for MySpace, for 7Load, for Trip TV, and for Sport Post. None of those do, am I actually going to be uploading to, but you can see that if you run into an issue, I don't think Vimeo and uh, YouTube are the big two that I use. And I'm not sure I have not run, ever run into the uh, maximum characters, but you can see for MySpace it's 500 characters max. 
So I don't run into that. Um, you'll also run into issues uh, with tags. In fact, you can see here uh, on YouTube, oops, as I type this on YouTube, uh, that's this first one here, you can see exactly what those tags will look like on YouTube and they happen to look different uh, everywhere you go. So this will just show you what they look like. Now, since this is all, all uploaded, I get a message up here. I need to go down here and press upload. Now here's where the magic of one load really comes in and shines um, and is now here's where the magic of one load really comes in and shines. When I go to upload this, you can see the sites that I have saved YouTube, Daily Motion, Meta Cafe, Blip.tv, Vidler, and Vimeo Plus Pro. Uh, Vimeo Plus Pro is the only one that I'm paying for, and you can see the token there. Um, I can remove all of these, but this check mark means that I've got them saved. And you can see all the websites here that I can add if I'd like. Uh, you can send it directly to Facebook. I used to upload to Flickr, and I no longer send videos to Flickr. Um, all of these things, though, um, you can see the ones that are locked, you need to do a little bit more work on. And so you can click on the, the more options or it says additional information for Bing. So you need a Bing supplier slash Bing source. So it'll tell you um, where you need to go. But if you sign up at Metacafe, if you sign up at blip.tv, if you sign up at Vidler, Dailymotion, those are probably some that you've never used before. You just sign up, create an account, um, give it your Dailymotion just needs an authentication token. That's what YouTube needs is, this, is this another token, and so does Vimeo. The others need your uh, username and password. And as you scroll down, you've got a lot of things. I can also send them directly, send the notification to LinkedIn, to Twitter, to Facebook. Um, I've got custom destinations here that I don't have any of these set up. I don't have custom feeds. Um, and again, I've got these set up to store my account credentials. You can set up multiple usernames and passwords with one, one load and give other people access to upload uh, as well. And then I can do a scheduled launch. That is a premium feature uh, as well. Um, but again, I'm going to collapse these. You can see that I've got these all set up here and checked. And then what I'm going to do is hit launch. Now, when this goes, um, you can see that uh, one load processed. This is a video that I did in a whiteout from uh, almost up at, uh, it was about 13 and a half thousand feet reviewing in a watch from Eddie Bauer. So it gives it all this metadata, the description, the tags, the category, and rather it doesn't give that. Those are the things that I selected in the case of category and I gave it a tag and description. So these things are gonna upload. And if I wanted to launch more, if I chose Twitter, in fact, I'd have to get the token. I don't have. I don't use that because I go out and um, once I schedule a blog post or once I, I um, run a blog post, rather, I go out and send it to those uh, custom. So I don't use those. But if I added another one, I could go back and hit launch and then refresh status. We'll refresh this page and you can see that this re was requested. And when I refresh that, it's going to show over here on the right-hand side that it actually went through. I've refreshed the status on this and you can see that uh, these have changed to uploaded and awaiting confirmation. So I've got four of those. The other two, Metacafe and blip.tv, give me the direct links to those. I can click here and it'll open in a new window. I get the embed code. Um, recalling it is also a feature of uh, OneLoad Premium. Uh, and uh, again, that'll recall specifically on, uh, on that website. So I'm going to hit refresh status here one more time and see. Okay, so I just have those two. Now, if I go to Vimeo, I actually see that this video is up here. Now, it will eventually come through. And in fact, I'll also get an email notification from Vimeo telling me that that video is uploaded. It, the, the confirmation simply hasn't made it back here to one load, but it usually is pretty quick. Um, and sometimes it might need to wait until the file uh, completely encodes. So if I go back to the video here, let me see if it is, uh, and I don't get a message say, that's saying that it's not. Um, but again, eventually it's gonna be, uh, it's gonna find and make its way back over here, and all of these will change to green, and I'll get uh, links and confirmations, and I can click through directly to that video on that website. That's how I use one load. If I'm gonna go through the trouble of uploading a video to one website, I don't wanna sit and wait for it 
uh, to upload there and then go to YouTube, for instance, and then go to Vimeo and upload it there and then go to Daily Motion and upload. I'm not going to do that. And that's why most people only upload their video to one website at a time. So I, I tend to do that and mainly because I use Vimeo because I'm a Plus member over there, so I can really customize what the player looks like on my website. YouTube is the number two search engine in the world, just after Google. So your videos also need to be in YouTube. Now, how-to videos and different things, there's reasons to be on other specific video sites that I'm not gonna cover here, but I am in each for a reason. And when you Google specific things, I'm gonna come up higher on Meta Cafe, for instance, than I will on YouTube or Vimeo. Another term or another video that you search for is gonna come up higher on a different one. And that's why I do that. So oneload.com, it's a free way to create your account, upload your video, give it a title, a description, and tags in a category once, and then send it out everywhere. I'm Justin Lucas Savage at coachradio.tv.